Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking all about Bath & Body Works Fall. I am so excited. I picked up some of the new fall body care as well as candles this weekend, and I'm gonna share my thoughts with you guys. And I know it's a little, a little early for fall. It just turned July. But um, usually for retail, fall does start in July. And for me, I always get, I would say, more excited for fall around August. But since they have the first round of fall coming in the next couple of weeks, I wanted to go ahead and purchase some things and let you guys know my thoughts on everything. Bath & Virus is like my favorite for fall and also like Christmas time. Those are always my favorite, especially candles. And then they always have some really good like sweet foodie body care, which I am all about. So. So I picked up um, some of the new body care items. These in particular are not quite on the floor yet. Some stores may have it out, but most stores do not yet. I always get questions how I got them, but all I did was just ask my associate if they had them and if I could purchase them. I usually just call and ask, and then I do have to pay the full price since they're not out technically yet but i cannot wait to show you guys these and then the candles they have fall candles out one of my stores actually put them out early um so i was able to go there and take advantage of the candle sale today the ten dollars off which i was so happy this came this weekend because i don't think i was gonna pay the full price for those for sure but yeah, I was able to get a few of the fall candles to kind of share my thoughts with you. But I wanted to let you know the fall candles are online right now as well. So you can take advantage of that $10 off sale if there's anything you're wanting or wanting to stock up on an old fave that is back. So let's get into the video. By the way, one more thing. I do have one more semi-annual sale haul, which will probably be up next week um, with the rest of my 75% off finds. When I was in store today, all the body care was 75% off. They didn't have any more 50%, no more 495. Everything is 75%. So definitely a good time to get to your stores this weekend ASAP so you can go stock up if there's anything else you were wanting. But yeah, my last SAS haul will be up next week. Enough about that, let's get into the fall goodies. Let's start with the body care. So, there is a couple different collections that are coming out. Honestly, it'll probably be any time now as the stores are dwindling down with their 75%. They're gonna need to stock their shelves soon. So, there is like this kind of fresh baked collection out and I picked up two cents from that line. I tried to buy mostly just the new items. So, we have coconut candy apple. How pretty does that look as well as pumpkin pecan waffles which you guys might be familiar with in the candle it is here in body care which is so exciting um this also has i'll share with you a few more things in the line it's also going to include marshmallow pumpkin latte that one is coming back for fall as well as strawberry pound cake is coming back once again <laughs> they always bring out strawberry pound cake but i already stocked up during sas so i'm pretty good on that scent but i want to go over the new ones so let's start with the pumpkin pecan waffles i actually purchased a body cream in this one as well just because I love candle and I was for sure thinking I was going to love this body care as well. So the notes are maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. This is the packaging. I absolutely love the packaging on the body cream. I think that is adorable with the little pumpkins on it and the waffle. So cute. And then the spray actually just has like a pumpkin at the bottom of it. But I think it, the packaging is just really, really cute. And for scent wise, I will tell you the fragrance mist this one smells spot on to the candle in my humble opinion I, I think they did so good with this one I don't know how they captured it perfectly but for me it is perfection it's so foody it definitely smells like a waffle um, but almost has like a cereal note in it as well that this one kind of always reminds me of like cinnamon toast crunch it is so so good you guys absolutely love it in the fragrance mist i also sprayed this on me yesterday wore it for like five or six hours and it had a really good lasting power as well so the spray is amazing the dry down is very sweet as well it doesn't dry funky or anything like that absolutely a winner now the body cream I'm a little unsure of so I feel like the body cream smells a little bit different on the dry down when I smell it in the tube it's really sweet and delicious but I'll say the dry down is a little funky there's something about it that I'm not sure about it almost has like maybe a light almost burnt note to it I don't know 
but nothing crazy. I'm still adjusting. I feel like I like the spray scent a bit more. Sometimes that happens within the line. Something might smell a little bit more sweeter. I don't know. That's just what I'm thinking. I love the spray though, 100%. So amazing, but I'm still just on the fence about the body cream. I just don't feel like it dries down the same. Um, but I kind of want to like get the lotion once it's like out. I might use a free reward on that. I have some that I need to use up. So whenever it hits online, I'm definitely going to use some rewards on that um, and try the lotion, see if I like that a little bit better. It's definitely not bad. I just prefer the spray for sure. Um, also wanted to mention this body cream is the new updated formula. So it now has the hyaluronic acid in it and it is really creamy. It feels actually more hydrating for like longer than the old ones did. So I think the um, hyaluronic acid, whatever it did, it does make a difference to me. But yeah, that's the pumpkin pecan waffles. Next we have coconut candy apple. This one is so interesting to me. I just had to try it. To be honest, I'm really not a big apple scent kind of girl. I don't know why, but I just never gravitate towards it. I really dislike winter candy apple a lot. I don't know what it is, but that scent always makes me nauseous. And then um, the pink tie-dye one that came out for SAS, that one's like a fresh apple. That one's okay to me, but I didn't like go crazy over it. So I was wondering how this was going to compare. This one has notes of candied red apple, shredded coconut, and vanilla spice. And you guys, I am very highly impressed by this one. Like, this really took me by surprise. I don't know. I might like it more than the pumpkin pecan waffles. I can't pick. They're both really good. But this one is such a sweet apple. You get the apple right off the bat. And then you get a ton of sweetness with it. It almost reminds me of like a caramel apple like a caramel vanilla apple type of scent. I really don't get a lot of coconut in my opinion. So if you're worried about the coconut and the apple mixed together, honestly, I barely smell it. Like I can maybe smell a hint of it on dry down, but to me it's almost more caramel or vanilla, but it is delicious. Definitely like a really sweet apple type of scent and definitely like gourmand candied apples. I'm definitely planning to pick it up in all forms. Okay, next we have this scent. So this one is the Honey Wildflower. I think this is a new signature scent that is coming out, so it's not really in a collection. It's gonna have like a perfume and everything. So this is kind of like a tr good transition piece um, from summer to fall because it's not like super pumpkin spice and all that stuff. But the notes are crisp pear, fresh wildflowers, and sweet honey. This one, I will say, it is really nice. Like I could see this being a good everyday scent it's not offensive at all I feel like anyone could wear this and it's nice and not overpowering but I do feel like it is very generic like I feel like I've smelled this before it kind of has a similar vibe to the candied violet sorbet where it's a little bit more fresh floral at first but then on the dry down you get that honey and it sweetens it up I wouldn't say it's like mind-blowing like stock up type of scent in my opinion but you know, it's nice. It's a nice transition piece into fall and something you could actually honestly wear all year round. And I think the packaging on this one is absolutely beautiful. And then I picked up a couple from this collection, which is also coming out. So this one's called the Rewilding uh, Body Care Collection. And this also comes with Champagne Apple and Honey, which I did not pick that one up, but I might end up getting with my free rewards. I picked up the White Tea and Sage. This I don't know if this has been out in body care before, but it has been out in a candle. I bought it last holiday and I really love the candle, so I wanted to try it in body care as well. The notes are sparkling bergamot, white tea, fresh sage, and violet woods. Now, I honestly do not know how to describe this scent because it is so unique, but it is almost herbal, but it's like a nice herbal mixed with like a cologne almost so I feel like it's very unisex but I like it but I don't know if it's something I want to wear often like I feel like this one might end up giving me a headache with the herbal scent that it has but for some reason I love it in the candle I love it in the home but I'm not sure about it on me on my body but if you like a type of cologne type of scent, I think you might enjoy this one a lot. I don't know if I'm going to end up keeping this one or what I want to do with it. It's just, you know, it's okay, but it's definitely spot on to the candle if you guys like that and want to give it a try. Very, like, unique scent from them, so that is the White Tea and Sage. And then we also have the Marigold and Cane Sugar 
I usually don't like florals, so I was unsure of how I was going to feel about it, but I wanted to get it to let you guys know the notes and everything. And this one is very strong on the floral. The notes are golden citrus, sunshine marigold, cane sugar, and warm amber. And that marigold note is very strong. It almost has a kind of similar vibe to like the sun golden sunflower scent, but that one's a little bit more powdery. This one does have a little bit more of a brighter, almost citrusy note with it. But it's not, it's not my favorite. It's too florally for me. Sometimes I can do the fresh sweet florals, but this is just a little too overpowering for my taste. But if you love those warm florals, I think you would really enjoy this one. But for me, I think it's a pass. I'm just, I'm really gravitating towards this big shop or whatever collection. I think that one is my fave for sure. So that is the body care I bought. Let's get into the candles. Like I mentioned, they are $10 off right now. And these scents you can find online. Some stores have them out already. And there's also some more coming. I think there's going to be some Halloween ones coming out soon, but my store did not have those yet. So the candles I picked up, I didn't get too many just because I didn't want to go too crazy. I wanted to get some of the newer scents. So I picked up the Toasted Coconut cupcake. How cute. Again, I love foodie scents, so I had to try this one. The notes are sweet coconut, toasted almonds, and fluffy vanilla cake. I was really wondering if this was going to be similar to like vanilla snowflake. I cannot stand that one. For some reason, that one makes me sick. It's like too coconutty, but this one's lighter, so I do get that cake note with it for sure. Definitely a coconut cake, but it's different than like coconut cream pie. I feel like I like coconut cream pie better though. But it's not bad, I like it. I'm glad it's not too overpowering on the coconut note. The other new one in that bakery collection, this is the pineapple pound cake. Um, I'm not sure, I don't feel like this looks like a cake to me. This looks like a jello mold <laughs> for some reason, but I was so curious in trying this one out because I wanted to see how it compared to my pineapple uh, cream puff because it kind of sounded similar. This one's a little bit older, but this is such a good candle. So the new one says fresh pineapple sweet vanilla pound cake sprinkled with powdered sugar. All right, let's smell it. I really like this one, you guys. The pineapple is not overpowering, which is good for me because I, I don't like like a lot of pineapple in my sense. Again, just like the coconut, I guess I'm picky when it comes to certain things, but this is like the perfect amount. I get a little bit of that juicy pineapple, almost like it's like a glaze almost. It's delicious, but I smell a lot of that vanilla pound cake as well in this one. Wow, that is so good. It's definitely different than the pineapple cream puff. The pineapple cream puff is more of a brighter, more definitely heavier on the pineapple in my opinion. So yeah, it's definitely different if you guys were wondering, but I would definitely pick this one up because it smells incredible on cold. We'll have to see how it burns though, but I'm definitely getting backups of this one. It might be my favorite that I bought for fall this year. From that same line, this one has been out before, but it's one of my favorites for fall. It's Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow. How cute is that packaging? I love that it has the see-through part there. Notes are Tahitian Vanilla, Pumpkin Spice, and Homemade Marshmallow with Drizzled Caramel. And this one really just is like a pumpkin spice cupcake with vanilla frosting. So good, you guys. It smells almost more pumpkin this year. I don't know. I'm getting a lot of pumpkin. But it is delicious. Love this one. And then this is a, another repurchase back again for fall. This one has different packaging. This was the only one I liked out of this collection. This is blackberries and basil. And this is one of my favorite candles from last year. So I had to pick it up again. And these have like almost a textured kind of packaging on it. It's very different. Notes on this one are fresh picked blackberries, sparkling champagne, and aromatic basil. I just love this one. All those notes mixed together are so good. And it's such a fruity um, kind of fragrance. Some of those don't really have a strong throw, but this one definitely does. I can smell it throughout my whole house. And then the next one, this isn't even a fall one, but this one 
was part of the $10 off sale, so I went ahead and grabbed Laundry Day. This is a repurchase for me. I just ran out of my other one, and I have to always have this set on hand. I hope they never get rid of this. I don't know. It came out in this summer, so it, they might get rid of it. I don't know. The notes are Fresh Air, Crisp Eucalyptus, and Soft Lavender, but this is my favorite for when I'm cleaning because it just makes your house smell so fresh. Literally smells like you're doing a load of laundry or like dryer sheets, laundry detergent. So good and it's so strong. It seriously makes your whole house smell clean. So this one I always have on hand. I just love it so much. So I think that's everything I picked up. Kind of like my fall sneak peek preview. Again, I'm going to have my last semi-annual sale uh, haul up next week. I know it's kind of a lot, but I wanted to share my last finds over the couple of weeks because it kind of stopped making the videos. I was doing them weekly, but then it just kind of got a lot and then I know I kind of got bored of it for a little bit, but I'm really excited about the new fall stuff again I have some hits I have some misses for me personally but of course scent is subjective everyone kind of smells things differently so I may like something that you hate and you may hate something that I love and that just happens sometimes I thought this was so much fun um, again this is just the first round of fall so they will have more scents coming out I haven't seen any sneak peeks besides like the Halloween stuff that's coming I think we're actually getting at least one Halloween body care I've seen and I think Sweet Seven Pumpkin is definitely coming back as well but I would love to see Halloween body care again because it's been years and years since they've done that. I would love to see them come back with um, the Golden Praline and Pear. That is one of my favorite scents that hasn't been back for a couple years now and I would love to see it again because it is so good. It was like a delicious brown sugar pear with graham cracker crust. Oh my gosh, it was incredible. Um, another really good one that's an oldie but a goodie is Plum Moscato and Almond Harvest. That one was insanely good. It was like a fruity scent but it had like this delicious, it was almost like a plum mixed with Dark Kiss if I remember correctly. It was so good. So I would love to see those back again and I would love to hear down below what you guys would like to see come back for fall. If there's anything that you would just love to have again. I love like hearing about old scents that you miss but I think I'm going to end the video there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this was helpful and I hope you guys can find these fall body care soon or if you're just not ready for fall yet I totally get it. Technically I'm not really ready for fall until August but I do <laughs> get excited for bath Body Works newness, you guys know, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.